Well, first of all, you have to get them and take the bait. Now, we found the whale, and we knew there was going to be sharks underneath the whale. The dead carcass. So we had the next day off. So we stayed right there, tied up to the whale. And the next morning is when they started to show up. They come up for their breakfast. One at a time, they had a pecking order. Believe that or not. Tried to get the first one that that came along. We had a small one on first thing in the morning. He was probably about 1,500, I guess. And uh, he bit the cable off. He did? Yeah, he bit it off. They can if they get the cable in the back part of their mouth, they'll snip it off like a pair of pliers. Wow. Because the teeth fit together just like that. Just like that. No yeah. room. So you the lost one, that boy. He's the one that got away. He's the one that got away. And he was a smaller fish. And we were sad because we lost him. We didn't know what uh, was in store for us. Later on, I kept teasing the big one, and I got the big one to take the bait. Normally, you have one puppet in the front, your harpoon. From I, I invented the, the dual. To the du one on each side. Two shells. So I can walk out over the top of the fish. Over the top of the water. Over the top of the fish, certainly. And then I, with the, the bait, I can tease them. Right, and it worked out good. And you got a big old hook in there? Is that the idea? Inside Certainly. That boat? Yeah, how else are we going to catch him? And he's got to have a hook in there. And he swallows it. it no, I don't swallow it. He grabs it and because luckily we got him on the outside and the leader stayed up there. So he couldn't, he was trying to, but he couldn't bite the leader. Yeah, and an hour and 40 minutes, we had him up alongside the boat and we hit him with the first flying gear. And that's when the proverbial hit the fan, because they don't like that, you see. When you, you gaff them, you hit them with that flying gaff, the handle, it detaches, and you throw the handle in the boat. Now you got them on a hook on the rope, right? That's one. And you put the second one in them. Now you got two into them, and he's rolling and thrashing and banging around. Still didn't stop him. Then we put a head choker on them. Yeah, uh, okay, okay. That was a, a 3 8 cable. Finally, why we got a tail up on them. Once we got a tail up on them, then we was all set. The, the game was over. We go home. Well, I had a call in to tell them that we were coming in. Wow, that must have been something. With call. a fish that size. Uh, because they had to go get the scale. There's only one scale on Long Island that's a uh, portable scale that's going to weigh 5,000 pounds. Eh? So they bring the scale, it's about that big, bring it and they hook it onto the hook, and then they put the fish on it, and they pick it up out of the water. And that's how they tell. Now the fish is dead by this point, right? Almost dead, yeah. yeah. No, but just... if we could. We would go out there right now and catch and catch a white shark. How big do you think we got one out there right now? How big do you think he is? Well, a thousand pound white shark is going to weigh about a thousand pounds. Uh -huh. A fifteen hundred pound fish is going to weigh about fifteen. A two thousand pound fish is going to weigh almost two thousand pounds. Uh -huh. Right? I guess you could argue. Well, they're all that. different sizes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be serious. I absolutely refuse to be serious. I don't care who's on the boat or what we're doing. The only time I'm serious is when we hook a fish. Then you better be serious.